What's going on guys? Tim Russwick here from Game Dev Underground, GDU.io. Today we're talking about GIFs. Uh, and GIFs are one of the most powerful forms of marketing, visual marketing, um, online, especially in social media. And video is becoming more and more prevalent, so I think video is going to overtake GIF at some point. But as of now, GIFs are one of the, the most effective methods to kind of show your game off really simply and really easy. They work on Facebook, they work on Twitter, they work uh, on Reddit, they work on all the social media platforms. Um, they're really easy to post and they are easy to make, but a lot of people seem to have issues with it. Um, I get questions a lot about how to make GIFs, how to animate them, how to crop them, cut them, all that stuff. So I'm going to show you two methods on how to make GIF. I'm going to show you the hard way and the easy way. The reason I'm going to show you the hard way is because the hard way is a lot... Um, more versatile, you can do a lot more, you can uh, do the kind of stuff that you want to do. So <coughs> we're going to get into it. So here we have my game, Symmetra, waiting to be played. Um, if I wanted to create a GIF, uh, one of my processes for doing this is a software called OBS. And if you just Google OBS, you'll find obsproject.com. This link will be down in the description. This is a Windows only program, I believe. I don't believe there's a Mac version. So uh, for now, Windows users, well, maybe there is, maybe there is. Um, but so OBS is actually what I'm using to record this video. And this is gonna break the internet because now you're looking at my OBS software recording all of this. And the way you set this up is pretty simple. You add a scene down here and scenes are basically just names for the arrangement of things. And then once you have a scene, you can add in any type of uh, capture. And you can usually do um, window capture, uh, which is the your main monitor. So you can just find your main monitor. If you have multiple monitors, you'll see them on there. Uh, it could be any, any sort of thing. But generally, you want to keep your monitor. And then you just hit this little button right here. Um, move this over so you can see. Uh, this says stop recording right now, but it would say start recording. <coughs> and you would end up with a video of your screen. And you can minimize this so, you know, they can't see it. Um, or you can move it to a second monitor like I do while you're recording. But then you end up with a video of your, your game. Now, I, because I'm using OBS already um, to record this, I already have two little videos here. Uh, I have a tall one and a small one. Um, this is just a simple video just to show you. It's me playing horribly my own game. Um, and by the way, you can see the cursor in here because this is a mobile game. But um, there's, there's settings to hide the cursor, so you don't have to worry about that. So this is the basic image. And then I found a really awesome site called EasyGIF.com. Uh, and then they have a section called video to gif and all you do from there is you just upload your video boom <coughs> takes a second to upload easy gif is awesome it gives you some settings um, the frame rate I notice five five frames per second is really slow it like is really jumpy so 10 seems to be the minimum you can go without getting super jumpy so the basic settings here are, are perfect for me and then as you can see it just creates a gif of like the exact video and the the quality is surprisingly good now the cool thing to do now this this actual website has a lot of cool stuff so let's drag this over so now we just saved our gif right now, maybe you want to um, resize it, right, or crop it. So we can just upload our GIF again. Boom. Upload and crop. And then they give you a little crop box. So you could do a little more social media friendly and they even have settings for 1.2, 16.9, 4x3, uh, basic, you can crop it. So now I get with square gif, 
right? Um, and if you want to take it a step further, which you really don't need to at this point, we could save our GIF here. You can also optimize for size. So we can go to the GIF optimizer. We can choose file, upload a square GIF. Um, and then you can s select your compression level. This is surprisingly good for a website. Uh, if I bump it up to 100, so it's 3.3 megabytes. Now it ends up as less than a megabyte, and the quality still looks pretty decent to me. Um, now it did only take five seconds of it. You can set that in the settings, obviously. I forgot to do that, but it's not a big deal. So, you, so now we have a little gameplay GIF right here that we can do whatever we want with it. So that's the complicated method, but it's not that complicated when you think about it. They, they have, especially with this website, they have all these different tools. You don't need to download anything besides OBS for the video. And if you have other ways to get the video, like uh, I know TechSmith has Camtasia, which I've used before. That's pretty good. Um, there's a lot of different things like that to record video. Uh, NVIDIA has a thing built in, I think, to record video. But there's a lot of cool stuff. So that's the hard way. Uh, now, the easy way, which is easier, but it has some drawbacks, is uh, a program called LiceCap, which I like a lot, I use. Um, and the, the URL is cocos.com slash LiceCap, C-O-C-K-O-S dot com slash L-I-C-E-C-A-P. Uh, and this link will be out in the description as well. And basically, if you just download this program, uh, boom, it's a Windows version and there's a Mac version. Um, and it's going to look like this. It's just a little window. And the cool thing about this is you can drag and drop and this is your actual GIF window. Whatever you want to record. So if I want to record my game here, I can save the little window like this. Maybe even decrease the size a little bit. Get it perfect. Uh, hit record. It's going to ask me to save. We're going to say test GIF. Boom, it starts recording. And then I just hit stop. And that saves my GIF. Right here. Which is pretty freaking convenient. Now, when I said there's a downside, this is the downside. The, the frame rate's low, uh, the quality's a little bit low, but it's a really cool tool. It's really simple to use, it's really easy, it's really effective. Um, I have not found a way to mess with the settings on this. You can change the FPS, obviously, and the size, but you can't really change the, the quality settings as far as I know. I could be wrong on that. Um, but still, it's... Uh, it, it does a really good job and it's really simple to use so that's my second recommendation but uh, I mean gifts are like I said I think they're on their way out but I think it's gonna be years before gifts get actually replaced I mean some of our video stuff now is actually smaller and higher quality than gifts and all, all the major websites are starting to support video natively so I think video is probably the future but gifts are great for now they're fantastic, and I love on websites like when people show games and there's like shots there of like animated GIFs and stuff. <coughs> it's always really awesome. So that's how to make GIFs. It's not that complicated. I know it can seem complicated when you don't know what you're doing. Uh, but this website, easygift.com, makes everything a whole lot easier no matter what you use, whether you use LiceCap or OBS or whatever. There are tons of tools on here. Uh, that can do all kinds of stuff. So I highly recommend this website. But that's it for today. I hope you guys found it useful. Um, if you did, please leave me a comment below. If you've got any uh, tips or tactics or questions on um, creating GIFs or anything like that, please leave them below. I'd love to hear from you guys. But until tomorrow, once again, I'm Tim Ruswick, and I'll see you then.